Looks like it's about to start raining, so I'm gonna jump in the car and do a little tuning today because um, when I was driving around the other day, I noticed the AFRs were like in the 12s, like mid 12s. So I'm gonna just kind of do some tweaking and um, get it down to the 11s. So when I moved it from the parking spot I was in, I noticed a pretty good size oil stain or puddle of oil. So I'm gonna see what the deal is, see where the oil is coming from. I've been having like an oil leak issue with this thing. I can't make it go away for good. Looked like it was just coming from the drain plug. So I put a, a new washer, uh, tightened it up and cleaned it off. So hopefully, hopefully it's good now. All right, good as new. So before I get tuning, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, BG Boosted. I've been a little stubborn on not getting the uh, pro version of Chrome because it's expensive for the for the you know legit legitimate way to do it. It's like 150 bucks, and there's ways to get on eBay that I'm not. I was kind of iffy about it, but he actually sent me a link to um, a seller that he used himself personally. And he had a, a good experience with it. It was like 25 bucks. I think the $25 version is good for six months and the 50s for a year. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to do the 25 one, see how it goes. And I actually have the Hue, the Extreme Hue Log already. If you're not sure what that is, um, let me explain it real quick. So, yeah, this is a mess. Yeah, take better care of your, of your shit than I do. So this is the Motes um, Ostrich 2.0. And what this does is it allows you to make like live adjustments like on the spot you don't have to keep burning chips basically this goes to the computer the ribbon and then it's usb to the laptop and i actually don't even have a chip i don't have a chip burner all i use is this moch ostrich i don't even fuck with chips which i i probably should because i've been uh, actually asked a lot lately if i can tune other cars like you know local hondas and shit like that so i might actually get a chip burner and some chips and uh start helping some local guys out and start uh tuning some cars but this little shit here is uh, an extreme hue log and what this does this little bastard is actually pretty cool let me um i might need to actually open up a map to show you okay so with the hue log uh excuse all this what it allows you to do is, uh, so basically with the ostrich I can live tune it you know on the spot but I have to guess where it's at as far as the vacuum and the boost doesn't really want to focus hold on so I, I have to kind of guess what cell the car is in to make adjustments but with the hue log it basically highlights where you were at like live like in the moment it'll highlight it'll float around and tell you exactly what cell to adjust what rpm what boost vacuum all that it's it's all live it's, they call it data logging, but to me, that's more, uh, it seems like it's live tracing. That's what I like to call it, when it traces or highlights the cell that it's in. But for some reason, everyone refers to it as data logging. But to take advantage of that, you have to have the pro version. And uh, it'll bring up like a menu that you can select like a data logging or live tuning or some shit like that on the bottom i don't know i haven't had it so i don't really know exactly so yeah that's that's pretty much next i already paid the ebay seller 25 bucks for the pro version i'm just gonna wait for him i need to like send him the id to my computer or some shit like that but yeah that's uh that's coming up pretty soon all right all i've done is that 10 percent in all the boost columns in a low no vtech and in vtech i had a 10 percent in the boost across the board so let's go for a little drive and see if we can get closer to um, 11 AFR instead of uh, floating around in the mid-12s. It's a little lean. I don't have a whole lot of time to make adjustments because it does have a blown head gasket. Oh, great. There's a car behind me. Hold on. One second. Uh, so as I was saying, I don't have a whole lot of time. The car does have a blown head gasket. It uses coolant pretty quick when I'm boosting around, being stupid. So... I'm gonna make a couple pulls. Let's see if I can get it down to 11 AFR real fast. 
I can only imagine, I mean, it's gotta run better with a good gasket. Right now it's probably got low compression. It's always like cylinder one that seems to have an issue on a head gasket, but it's only using coolant. It's not mixing oil and coolant, so that's, not, that's the only reason I'm still driving it around. Um, okay, let's see, let's see where we're at. All right, I've got the ability to do like this wide angle perspective. So that, that's what this is right now. So you should be able to see all the gauges. It's like a wide angle lens up close, grab the steering wheel and be able to get all the information for you. Let's see where we're at. Right, just with that 10 percent it's it's a lot better i think the leanest i saw it get was a uh, 12.2 it wasn't 11 for the most part um but i went ahead and threw in an extra 10 percent um yeah hopefully to get it like a little bit little bit lower than three elevens It does seem to pull smoother though. Like it, it likes the extra fuel. It feels, feels like a stronger pull to me, but it might just be in my head, but it does feel like it's running better. Damn, I just saw my tempest creeping up. I'm gonna have to pull over. I think that's the last run I'm gonna be able to make, fuck. So it ended up being, I went back and watched your video. It's a little, it's actually a little rich. It was like 10.8, 10.9, 11s going back and forth. That's one of the issues without actually uh, data logging or doing a live tracing is I don't know exactly where the car is at on the map whenever I'm driving. So I'm just, for me, it's easier just to add 10% to the entire fucking boost map that's actually pinpoint where the cells are. Um, like there's a certain RPM and I don't know, what was it, like 5,500 where it's, it's getting lean but for a second. Like it's pretty consistent except for one spot. But until I get the uh, the the data logger going, I'm not gonna know exactly uh, where to adjust it. So I'm really looking forward to be able to do that. Can't wait. It's gonna make tuning so much easier. Um, but that's pretty much it today. Just a quick quick video. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Subscribe. It really helps. And comment below if you have any questions or uh, if you want your video featured, uh, shoot me it on uh, Facebook or Instagram, something like that. I'll feature it on my channel. But thanks for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs> the fuck, you said fix that? Oh, bullshit for that too, huh? <laughs> Episode 2.